What's going on guys? Coach Chris here with Forge Through Faith and today we're going to be going over last open workout this year, 22.3. Okay, so uh, this week's workout for time, 21 pull-ups, 42 double-unders, 21 thrusters, 95-65, 18 chest-to-bars, 36 double-unders, 18 thrusters at 115-75, 15 bar muscle-ups, 30 double-unders, 15 thrusters at 135-85, 12 minute time cap, okay? Warm up is gonna be super important for this, so come on over here. We are gonna start with our cyclical work. Six to eight minute EMOM, okay? We're gonna alternate between minute one, doing the assault bike or the bike erg, minute two, doing the ski erg, okay? For this warm up, if you have a bike erg available, I would actually prefer that, mostly because it is solely leg focused, lots of, uh, very quad dominant um, and then the ski is obviously uh, very upper body focused and we're kind of flip-flopping back and forth between those um, as those ergs are going to prep our body for the demands of this workout most effectively okay so you're going to flip-flop between those and an imam um, then we're going to do some mobility work really opening up those hips so one minute banded hip distraction per side one minute banded lizard stretch per side and a one minute banded pigeon stretch per side okay Continuing that, you're gonna get into two rounds, 10 hip windshield wipers. Again, getting those hips into internal rotation, continuing to grease the grooves, warm up those hips for all the squatting you're gonna be doing. 10 thoracic rotations, trying to open up that upper back um, for all the upper body pulling you're gonna be doing as well. Then you're gonna get into three rounds, 10 band pull-aparts, 10 knee banded air squats, 10 banded presses, 10 walking lunges. Okay, these walking lunges, just body weight. Okay, just continuing to, to warm up uh, your legs for the squatting. Um, and then you're gonna get into your sports specific warm up. Okay, now this is gonna be uh, arguably even more important this week than in the previous weeks. And it's because of the intensity associated with this workout. Um, and the more intense the workout, the um, the longer your warm up needs to be to prep your central nervous system and your body, your breathing to, to, to be prepared for what it, what's about to come. So you're gonna start with a 10 second assault bike sprint. Okay, really getting that, trying to get the heart rate up, trying to get the breath rate up to simulate what it's gonna feel like in the workout. Um, and then round one, you're gonna do pull ups. Now I didn't put a rep scheme for this because a lot of that is gonna depend on the individual. Okay, for folks who are gonna get into the bar muscle ups, finish the bar muscle ups, you know, you might wanna do you know, six to eight pull-ups just to warm up the movement, uh, a decent chunk. If you're someone who has no shot of doing bar muscle-ups, you know, obviously you wouldn't be doing them in, in round three, so maybe you keep the reps rep scheme a little bit shorter, three, four, five reps at a time. Um, but yeah, if you're someone who's gonna be finishing or getting close to finishing, you know, probably six to eight, six to 10 is probably what you're gonna wanna do. Maybe not 10, but probably eight. Um, then you're gonna do 15 to 20 double-unders, five thrusters, okay? And these thrusters, I would increase these at the weight you're gonna see in the workout. Um, and these rounds, I, wanna, I want fast, at essentially race pace or faster, just to prep you for the workout. And then you're gonna rest as needed. Again, a lot of people won't go as hard as they need to in this piece, because they're like, oh, you know, I don't wanna be tired for the workout. Well, in reality, guys, it's not gonna make you, quote, tired for the workout if you truly rest to recovery, A, and B, again, to be effectively warmed up for this workout, you wanna have a relatively high breath weight, right? A relatively high heart rate, a sweat going, so that once you recover, you're able to really hit it and, and your body's prepped for what's about to come, okay? Now, from a strategy perspective, if you're an elite athlete, you just, you, you gotta go. Uh, this open announcement was, really awesome to be able to see the difference between your everyday athlete and your elite athlete and kind of how you have to strategize the workout. Generally, the open announcements, you just have the elites and it's like, okay, how do, what do I take away from this for, for your general population, your average person? But you kind of saw this in contrast. So from the elite side of things, the team that was at uh, Reykjavik in Iceland, you know, everyone essentially went unbroken. Um, I believe both groups might have broken up that middle set of thrusters because that's when, in my opinion, the rubber's gonna meet the road is kind of that transition from the middle thrusters to the, to the bar muscle ups. Um, and so if, you, you're, if you're an elite level athlete, you, know, you might break once on those thrusters, maybe break once on the, on the bar muscle ups, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to try to really hold, try to hold on. For the rest of us out there, uh, you're gonna wanna break it up earlier than you think. 
okay? Um, if you're someone who's pretty good at gymnastics, you know, maybe two setting the way through, so 11, 10 on the pull-ups, um, you know, maybe like a 10 and eight on the chest of bars, and then trying to two or three set on the bar muscle-ups, uh, on the thrusters, I would also two set it, um, or three set it, and again, it's not because you have to, but you can be goaded into hanging on and then not having enough gas in the tank at the end, and you definitely saw that in the open announcement. Those poor guys, uh, they were in front of their home crowd, they're being broadcasted on the internet, uh, and they hear three, two, one, go, and they light their hair on fire, right? And they're going unbroken, and it gets to the point where, they, you know, 15 muscle-ups took these guys, I don't, I don't have the time in front of me, but I wouldn't be surprised if it took them, you know, two and a half, three minutes to complete. Um, you know, you actually had a guy fail a thruster, legitimately fail, he couldn't lock it out. And so, um, you know, you're gonna get to deep waters in this workout, um, but you don't wanna get to them in that first round, okay? This is not true Fran, where it's like, the weight is super light, it's just pull-ups, you gotta hang on and just, and just fight through. You can still break this up effectively and know you have to sprint through the finish line. Um, Next one is know where your bottleneck is gonna be. What I mean by that is know what is gonna be the toughest part of the workout for you. All right, so if you're someone who's not great at bar muscle ups, that's going to be your bottleneck, okay? 15 is not a ton of reps, but it's also not a little amount, right? And so if you look at that and you're like, you know, I might have to do that in five, six sets, you know, you can afford to, then it's like, okay, let's not break it up as much, maybe go two sets on thrusters in the beginning um, and break up the gymnastics enough so you have enough uh, hip hop, you have enough um, strength in your lats to do those bar muscle ups. Okay, if you're someone that th where the thrusters are going to be tougher, knowing that's your bottleneck, making sure you have enough time to do those thrusters and break them up effectively so it doesn't jack your heart rate up. Um, and the last one is smooth transitions. Okay, again, you can get lost in transitions here, especially when the workout gets really hard. So making sure you break it up effectively in the beginning. And then again, if you watch the guys in the open announcement, you know, they walk their way back from the barbell to the bar muscle ups and it took them forever to get started on those bar muscle ups, okay? Try to break it up so that in your transition, maybe you walk back to the pull up bar, two seconds, you're right on that pull up bar for your first set, whatever it is, one rep, three reps, five reps, 10 reps, whatever it is. Um, you're on the pull-up bar as fast as you can. So having those smooth, quick transitions is gonna be super, super important, okay? Couple tips on, from a movement perspective, thrusters. I'm gonna use the bar that's right in front of me, okay? Now, bear with me, guys. I'm not warm. My hips are kinda tight, and so I'm, I'm gonna be squatting. It might not be below parallel, but you know the gist. So you're gonna wanna stay nice and relaxed through your upper body here. Um, I'm kind of holding it above my ch off my chest because of the microphone, but um, you're gonna stay nice and relaxed here. You're gonna squat below parallel, drive up. As you drive, you're gonna wanna squeeze your butt, transition into the press, okay? What I like to say is as I press, kind of have a soft lockout. A lot of people will punch their shoulders as if they're firing it to the ceiling, uh, really creating a lot of tension through their shoulders and triceps. I try to lock it out, but stay as gentle with it as possible. Um, so I'm not exerting as, as um, more effort than I need. And then on the way down, I'm gonna relax the bar on the way down, let my, my chest catch it, and go into my next rep, okay? Um, the other thing is, guys, you'll see a lot of people rest at the top to kind of catch a breath. You could do that, you know, maybe at the end of some of your sets, but doing that every rep is gonna lead to higher time under tension, which, will f which could further fatigue your shoulders. So be sure to plan that out appropriately. Um, and then lastly, guys, on the gymnastics work, making sure you get everything warmed up effectively and really driving those hips and pulling down with straight arms on the bar muscle ups so you have uh, effective technique and you can, you know, you're not having any failed reps on those. All right, so last week of the Open, 22.3. Let's get after it hard um, and then get ready for quarterfinals.